Hello guys, welcome to Code Vedana. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use motion layout to create this type of animation. So without wasting much time, let's go for coding now. First of all, we will add an image view here. Add an image view. With height and width of 200 dp. I constrained it horizontally and uh, add top constraint as well. Now add a text view, text view, height and width will be wrap content and text and developer. Size 36 SP Now constrain it horizontally Now add a top margin of 200 dp so that the text will appear below this uh, icon. It is. Now just uh, change the view to design. Now in the constraint layout, right click and uh, choose convert to motion layout and convert so it is converting to motion layout and this uh, editor window is opened for the motion layout editor uh, we have two states here start and end states where we will uh, add constraints that will be applied in the start and end condition so let's see what changes have been uh, applied in this code. So our uh, constraint layout is changed to motion layout and uh, it has added one layout description file. Let's see what is it in this layout description file. So it is in motion scene, there, uh, uh, here is in transition. This is keyframe set. Whenever we add a keyframe, that will be added inside this keyframe set. And uh, we have two constraint sets representing start and end condition. That's it. Code. Now go to design view and uh, just click on this end state and choose the image view. Now we will uh, define this end condition. So first of all, I will remove the right constraint. Add and left margin of 10 dp. Now change the height and width to 50 dp. 50 dp. Now click on this text view and uh, here also remove the right constraint and uh, 
and left margin of 80 dB so that it will appear after uh, this logo or icon now change this top margin to 10 dB looking a little bit weird so change this top margin to 5 dB Good. So now let's see how our animation is looks like. So just click on this arrow, and uh, here you can manually check what is the animation flow, or uh, you can play. You can play the animation. change the playback speed also so that you can better visualize the animation now we will add an uh, arc motion effect so path motion arc and i will add that start vertical motion start vertical so our text view is going to be uh, moved in the vertical arc motion path so this is what is going to be like. now we need to add an uh, swipe handler so we have two type of handler click handler and swipe handler for now we will use swipe handler and uh, this is the transition director direction uh, from start to end and this is the motion event so drag up and uh, this is the anchor side let's all this uh, as it is and uh, click on this add button so we have added this swipe handler now go to code view and uh, go to this scene now we can see here that uh, in the transition file we have this swipe handler here and uh, we have end constraint set so uh, in the start position if uh, any of the views not having any constraint set in uh, start or end position then uh, if the value will be derived from the main layout so if, it, uh, if values are provided in this constraint set that will be overridden from the main view this is the duration of the animation you can change this also now just close this file and uh, run the app let's wait for the app to build Okay, so build finished and app is launched successfully now just drag and you can see the animation so uh, in the next tutorial we will try to uh, demonstrate how we can use keyframes so that's it for this tutorial Thanks for watching. Visit our blog. This is the URL codevedanam.blogspot.com. And if you learn something new from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Code Vedanam for further new videos. Thank you.